Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to build my cake detector slash secure cake door in Minecraft. Uh, the way this thing works is that the only way this door can open is if I place a full cake block on this block right here. So you see if I place down a cake there, door opens for a brief amount of time, and then after a few seconds the door will close once again. And yeah, this door, like I said, can't be opened in any other way other than what you just saw right there. So you can try a bunch of different things, like you can try powering this door directly, like this for instance, and nothing really happens. Uh, you can try doing stuff like this, where we have redstone dust going into there, but again, that will not work. Uh, you can try things like comparators perhaps going into there, and yeah, that doesn't work either. You can try things like shulker boxes with one item missing, and you'll see that doesn't work even if you spam it in there. Uh, and so this door works in both 113 and 114 snapshots as of right now. So yeah, let me show you how this thing looks. So here is the door in its entirety right here. So fairly small uh, door right here. Uh, and yeah, basically the cake detector is what you see on screen right here. So you can probably sort of work out how to build this yourself. But in case you can't, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to build this plus the extra bit with the door uh, right here uh, right now. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so now it's time to make the cake detector plus door. Everything you need to build this in its entirety is in my hotbar right now, plus one iron door and obviously the cake to open this. So first thing we need to do is determine where we're gonna place our cake to actually open the door. I'm gonna place my block that my cake is on right here. So my cake will actually go in this slot right there. So directly below the block the cake will sit on, we're going to place a sticky piston facing upward like so. Come to the back here, two blocks up like this, a block out like that. Redstone comparator facing this direction on subtraction mode. Make sure it's on subtraction mode. Then that's going to go into a block here. It'll be a block beneath here like that. And then we need two blocks with dust on them uh, just like so. Now come to this side, we're going to have a repeater here and a torch here. We're going to connect those up with two dust. Repeater here on two ticks and a repeater right there. And this will be the repeater that eventually gets locked and goes to the output. So now what we need is a comparator coming from this block back toward the sticky piston and a block in front of it. Now we'll take some observers. One observer is going to be facing the sticky piston and one will be facing the comparator right there. Behind those we'll have two repeaters on two ticks delay. That will go into a block on each one of those. We'll have a torch here and a torch on top right here. Also a block here, place two dust here and here, and then a repeater going into that repeater right there which should lock it. Then we'll have a block here and our output is going to be this torch right here. Come now back to where your cake is going to go. So the cake is going to go right here again. Uh, so we're going to go up above where the cake is going to go and then we'll place an immovable block up there. That's just simply to prevent uh, the mechanism from breaking if somebody tries to break in with the detector rail plus hopper minecart or minecart chest. Uh, now we'll need some observers on this side, so observer facing the piston right here, observer facing this way, and an observer facing upward with a block on it. This is going to serve to update the comparator when you place down the cake. And now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, feed a redstone signal into the side of this comparator. So take two blocks like this, block a redstone here, and then place dust on top of all those, and you are now done. This mechanism should now detect when you place cakes here, so we can test that out real quickly just by placing down a cake. You see that torch comes on briefly and then goes back off. So let's see it again. Torch is on, torch is off. Fantastic. So now all we need to do is add the door. So let's go ahead and dig in here a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and place down a dust right here. We'll place down a block right here. And we're going to place down our comparators at this point. So two that way, two this way. And then we're going to have two more dust right here. So this is going to be a pulse extender. This will keep the door open for an extended period of time. And our door, since this is going to be like our floor right here, our door will be in the center of this. So right on this block right here. Uh, so all we need to do is just simply run a repeater into this block, place down a torch on this, and now we need to place down our door. So to do that we are going to place the door perpendicular to the direction of travel. So our direction of travel is this way, so we need to put the door down just like this. And then of course you want to have, you know, blocks around it. 
And there we go. Door is now complete, so... Yeah, if we try and place down a cake... There we go. Door is now open, cake is now gone, and then after a brief period of time... The door should close once again just like that. Fantastic. And we can try other things now in here. So for instance, like shulker boxes. Those aren't going to work. Nothing else will open up this door basically now. And then you can go ahead and fill in, you know, your, the side of your of your hallway here. So all this comes over like this. Like this. Like this. And then build up this side, of course. And that is all there is to it. So one final quick note on this door is that basically if you want to open it from the other side, all you have to do is run a signal into this dust right here. So if I just place down a dust right here, some blocks over like this, and place a button right here, I can then open it from the non-cake placement side. And it'll remain open for a little while, and then close behind us. And then of course, you know, once you're back on this side, you have to use the cake again to get back through to this, this side. So... Anyways, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this little cake door, cake detector mechanism that I made. And hopefully you find it useful in some way. If you did, please do leave a like on this video. And be sure to subscribe for more great videos like this. As always, thanks again for watching, guys. This has been Cub. Goodbye.